In this video, I'm going to teach you how to stake Solana so that you can get an interest of 6.67% every year compound. So what is Solana? This is a blockchain technology. They are for developers. They are not just tokens. They are a blockchain technology that apps can build on top of them. They are the most popular blockchain after Ethereum and they are very scalable. And most of all, they are very cheap. So their gas fee is like one cent. That's why they are dubbed as the Ethereum killer. Because remember, Ethereum gas fee is crazily high right now. It can cost $30 per transaction. Compared to Solana, that is like just one cent. That even if Solana were to increase by 100 times the price, it's still one dollar. So there are three steps to staking Solana. The very first step is that you need to have the token. So you need to buy the Solana token, which is SOL. And to buy a token, you can do it on any crypto exchange. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo and show you how I buy on crypto.com. First, I go to Solana, of course. I already have some existing Solana. So you see the 2.44. I'm going to buy more. I'm not going to use credit card because that's a 3.5% fee. I'm going to go to my crypto wallet. I'm going to choose USD coin, which is the USDC, which I have $500. So let's see, buy, confirm. It's now at one Solana is $170 USDC. Okay, so I'm going to click confirm. And ta-da, I've purchased 2.9 Solana and also got some diamonds. You have just saw how I bought $500 worth of Solana. So now I have $900 worth of Solana crypto. So moving to the next step, step two, is that I have to transfer this Solana to my wallet. And what I mean by that is that I have the Solana on crypto.com, but that's not my wallet actually. That is actually been held on crypto.com. They are the custodian of the wallet. So to transfer to my wallet, I mean I can use one of the Solana's wallet. And the one that I use is called Soflare. It's a web wallet. I want to emphasize one point. The address that you have on the Solana blockchain is different from that of, say, Ethereum. So Ethereum is another blockchain. So there are different blockchains and, and don't mix them up. One address that you use is different from the other address. Because you have to send your Solana to an Ethereum address, then you'll be gone forever. No, take note of that. This is very important. So I'll demo to you. But before I can transfer, first thing is I have to set up Soulflare. And when you want to sell Soulflare, you there are two ways. One is using mnemonics, the other one is to use Ledger. So what is Ledger? Ledger is a hardware that secures how you can store all your tokens. I'll explain that further later. But there's two parts to this demo. So I have to first set up Soulflare, which is a bit more complicated. Then after that, I'll transfer from crypto.com to Soulflare. I want to explain mnemonics and ledger more because that is going to be confusing uh, or maybe before that let's let's just look at so flare okay when I want to set up so flare let me show you there's a few ways either through the mnemonics or the ledger as I said so you probably start with mnemonics if you don't have ledger it's completely fine well I I bought a ledger but it came a few days ago and what you have to do with mnemonics is that you want to create a new wallet because you don't have the mnemonic phrase. Unless you have, and then now you need to re-lock into a new computer, then you have to enter the mnemonic phrase and then enter a new password. Mnemonics is a 24 words secret phrase. So you don't have it, you create a new wallet, it will give you that 24 words. And you are supposed to store these 24 words in a safe place. Most of the time, you are going to write it on a piece of paper, like, like this card. You write it and then you keep it in your safe because this is very important. You lose it, you lose all your tokens. I say both because the ledger also has a mnemonic. The difference is that with ledger, they show you the mnemonics on, on this device itself and then you're supposed to copy it from here. It, those 24 words never leave this piece of hardware. So why Ledger is more secure than without using Ledger is because if you don't use Ledger, then you'll probably 
copy these mnemonics and then store it somewhere on your computer. Like for me, I actually store it on a file. And then when I need to use, I'll copy and paste it. You don't do that often because you will have one more thing called the password. This password is different from the Web2 password. Password is local. You use this password to unlock certain data on your local computer, then assess this data, then that can sign your transactions. Without confusing you too much, just understand that Ledger is, is a hardware. It's a, actually a simple computer that is very difficult to hack. But that said, if you are careful, if, if, you, if you don't anyhow click on links on your computer, it's actually safe. So don't worry too much. You can start with mnemonics. So I'm not going to uh, go through these steps. So as I say, you create a new wallet. You enter a password. Next, it will show you all your 24 words. Or if you use Ledger, yeah, you will continue from here. So after you have set up your SoFlay account, you look something like this. You're under this page. A very important thing is this. This is your SoFlare wallet address. So if you want to receive, you can either copy this address or you use this QR code. So I'm going to copy this address because I'll need it in the second step, which I'm going to show you is to transfer from crypto.com to SoFlare. So now I'm opening my, um, back to my crypto.com app. Here you see there's a transfer. So I'll withdraw my Solana. And I'll withdraw it to an external wallet. I already set up before. So that's why you'll see that there's this, my address is there. I can just click on withdraw Solana. But if you don't, click, click on the plus button on the top right. Select your wallet address. And here, you'll use, you'll enter, you'll paste that crypto address. Or if not, you can tap on the, the scan wallet QR and then point onto that QR code. So after you have added your address, you can then withdraw. Just tap on withdraw SOL. And then I'll select the max. So of my Solana, $900, tap on withdraw. And then just confirm the details. Here you see there's a fee of 0 0.005 Solana there. So that is one cent. So you also see their warning that they tell you that you have selected Solana as the withdrawal network. That means it's, you are on the Solana blockchain. Don't, if, if you thought you are on the Ethereum blockchain or whatever, you know, just be careful. And the address must be exactly correct because you sent a wrong address your token is gone forever so i'm going to confirm oh now i need to use the authenticator and ta -da! so it has been submitted but it will take a while so the transaction was pretty fast in a few minutes it was updated and now i got all the solana so let me go back to the last part step three and the last step of how to stake. And this is easy. And you can do it on SoFlare. They provide the staking conveniently for you. And at this point of time, I need to explain that there are two types of staking. One is na native staking and the other one is liquid staking. You'll see it here. Let me go to a staking tab. So this is the native staking and the other one is liquid staking. So liquid staking is actually something new and they are powered by Marinate, which is uh, another DeFi built on Solana. If you are using a native way, there's just one more step that you need to do when you are staking. And that is you need to choose the validator. So to choose a validator, you'll go to Solana, solanabeach.io, go to the validators tab. So it's good to understand what is staking here. Because when you are staking, you are actually choosing one of these 1360 validators so what is a validator you might be asking a validator is someone who maintains the blockchain so when they run the blockchain they write these blocks onto the blockchain they are being rewarded so this is sorted by who has the most number of stake i'll choose one from here actually i've been using i've been choosing this midi you look at how much is their commission they are still free so other than solana beach you also want to open up stakeview.app and in here you'll be able to see the perf performance, which is the APY that they have been achieving. The one that I choose is Mili2. Yeah, they perform quite well. They are ranked number four in the last 10 epoch. So now let me show you how to stake on them. So you go to here, native staking. I have staked twice before, once with um, 0 0.3, just, just a test staking, which is just worth $50. The other one now worth $340. So for you to stake, you'll create an account. 
you enter an amount you can put in as much but less 0.01 because you need some to pay fees later on so just just set it to one less or even two less up to you then here you will select the validator I select needy to click on state and that's it so that's the first way the second way is you through liquid staking I think this is very much preferred so I'll do liquid staking this time let's just use 5.36 uh. 5.36 I'll get 5.22 okay confirm transactions okay done so it's so flat you'll see your stated Solana or Marinate here or you can also go to the Marinate website and then connect your wallet, your SoFlare wallet, and you'll be able to see, see the same thing. You see that there's this 5.23 MSO, which is the Marinate Solana. So this is the amount that we have staked right now. Uh, APY is still 6.67%. Oh, they even tell you the epoch progress. So at the end of the epoch, we'll, we might see our rewards. So you can do many more things on Marinate. You can go to DeFi and then you can the supply this MSO to get to get another one point two seven percent, or you can do even more fanciful stuff. But I'm not going to cover this part of the DeFi because we'll be going down another rabbit hole. We'll leave this DeFi to another time. So for now, we'll just stake and then wait for rewards every three days. And you can also unstake it here if you, if when when necessary. Just take note of the unstaking fee. So in this video, I've shown you how you can buy Solana, transfer it, and then stake it on your very own wallet via SoFlare. So if you are to do staking, you are actually one, you are going long on Solana. That means you hold Solana for long term, and then you will earn those rewards every three days and compound it. So I advise you to hold long, hold forever, and watch it grow. Cheers. Thank you.